What we would do is we'd click on the analysis tab and then vulnerabilities and we want to change this vulnerability analysis view to remediation summary. And what we have here is basically like a list of things to do that if these are done then multiple vulnerabilities, multiple plugins, multiple CVEs will get remediated. Um, so this is kind of a, a slightly different way of looking at the things to do rather than just printing out a list of plugins or a list of hosts and all the vulnerabilities for those hosts. This is a slightly different view. Um, so just taking a look at the first example, it's just looking to uh, apply a Microsoft patch. So it's affected on 15 hosts, total 15 vulnerabilities, 15 CVEs. So if I click on this for more details, which we will do, um, I'm gonna see that there are 14 hosts affected, 15 hosts affected. Um, and let's take a look and click on this. So it's just one plugin, which makes sense because there were 15 vulnerabilities, 15 CVEs. Now if I click on this to go even further, it shows the number of hosts, the exact IP addresses, host names, um, that this vulnerability has been detected on. Um, and if we click into it one more time, you basically have the view of an individual plugin that was reported on an individual host. Um, so if we scroll down to the CVEs, there is only one, which makes sense. Because um, if we look at this view, well, for remediation summary, you have 15 hosts, 15 CVEs, 15 vulnerabilities. So rather than diving into this right now, let's see what we actually need to do because um, we can actually skip over everything, all the details. So as, as long as we apply this patch to these particular hosts, that's all you gotta do. So that's the list of thing to do. That's for the first item. Um, and what that'll mean is once that patch is applied, it will clear up 15 vulnerabilities in your environment. Um, so when using this view, it, it's a shorter list and it's basically saying if I do this one thing, then I'll solve 15 problems. Um, and right now it's in order by the risk percentage, which is defaulted with Tenable um, based off of the plugins that were reported and the severity of those plugins. But you can actually filter this by a variety of columns here. So like let's say you wanted to take a look at just the number of hosts affected. So if you say, okay, I wanna resolve a vulnerability for 59 hosts instead of 15, maybe you'll sort here and then this will be the first one that you tackle. Thank you.